Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Do you remember this guy, Mark Zuckerberg? His popularity in the past have not always been so high, but things have been changing lately. Zuck just made a major move that's got tech CEOs lining up to praise him because Meta just open sourced their newest AI model, Llama 3.1. Even his nemesis, Elon Musk had to admit Zuckerberg deserves credit and Shopify's CEO called it an incredible gift. Now, what does this mean? Well, its significance is really two factors. One, Llama 3.1 has made significant improvements and it's open source, meaning it can be a game changer, not just for big tech companies like Meta or Microsoft or Google, but for many smaller companies and developers around the world. In the past, it has been really difficult for small companies to compete with products like OpenAI backed by Microsoft or Gemini backed by Google. But now many small developers and companies can get access to this powerful AI without the crazy cost or time investment. And this can unlock a whole new wave of innovation. Zuck even poked some fun at the company that's named open AI developing closed model, calling it a bit ironic. Apparently it beats open AI in many metrics. Now this is the benchmark published by Meta, model evaluations benchmark as measured on over 150 benchmark data sets that span a wide range of languages and extensive human evaluations. According to this chart, Llama 3.1 outperformed GPT-4 in seven areas, whereas GPT-1 in only three areas. And even though it's not live yet, Meta is also working on multimodal features, which would be really interesting to compare to OpenAI's products. So I got curious and tested Llama myself. I jumped in and played around with Llama on my WhatsApp. And by the way, if you're new to the channel, I was the 19th engineer at WhatsApp. So this is a product that I feel really passionate about testing out. If you're not familiar with Llama, they have the Imagine feature. You can just type in a prompt and it will instantly generate images for you. So for for example, I tried imagine a toy robot in the shape of a pink lipstick that is feminine holding a computer keyboard in one hand. It started showing images as I typed changing in real time based on the prompts that I inputted. Then when I hit enter, it gives you a final image. It says, here's what I imagined for you. I'm also taking a few more seconds to generate a higher resolution image for you. Then in about a couple of seconds, you get another photo. And in this case, I noticed that it is pretty different, but I'm fine with that. They both look pretty good. Now here's when things got a little interesting. When I used the prompt, imagine a tech company CEO. The instant images popped up for a woman in a suit. It gave me a few different variations, which is pretty cool. But then when I hit enter, it says, let me give you a final high resolution file. And surprise, it turns into a white man. So I tried again with the same prompt. And guess what? This time it's a black woman initially that turns in to the same white man again. So Lama, you're telling me this white man in a suit is a higher resolution version of a black woman in a suit? Come on, Lama. You Other than the racial and gender confusion, Lama did pretty well. They have template commands to choose from on top of the screen like this. It has things like retirement savings guide, invent a new language, imagine a greenhouse. I tried the command, teach me about K-pop, and the response was pretty instant and accurate. And since I was on the topic of K-pop, I also asked for a photorealistic female K-pop singer, which looked pretty good. And when I asked for Mark Zuckerberg dressed as a K-pop singer, it refused to give me an answer, which is also good. And since math was an area that AI initially struggled with, I tested a few math commands and Lama did a really great job with explanation of how it got to the answer. And it also aced in recipe generation. Now with all these development in AI, if you're wondering if AI will be taking over our jobs soon, you want to watch this video. Otherwise, YouTube thinks you should watch this one next. I'll see you there.